Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. I'm Jack from Capeful, and today we're going to dive into something really exciting, how to create and display mermaid diagrams in your Confluence pages. If you're managing complex processes, system architectures, or data flows, you know just how important it is to visualize that information. Mermaid diagrams make it easy to create flow charts, sequence diagrams, Gantt charts, and more using a simple, readable syntax. So let's get started with how you can set up and embed mermaid diagrams in your Confluence pages using Capable in just a few simple steps. So here I have a page in Confluence where I'm explaining the processes. Um, and the first one I want to show you is how easy it is to simply copy an existing mermaid diagram uh, into an actual visual representation of it. So I'm going to copy my mermaid code here. And wherever I'd like to insert this diagram, I'm going to type slash diagram. I'm going to select capable diagram from the list. So as you can see, I have the choice of uh, either a visual editor or a code editor. And in this case, we're showing mermaid. So we're going to select the code editor option. And from here, we can see a number of templates that we have available to us, which showcase the different types of diagrams we can create with Mermaid. So uh, user journeys, state diagrams, flowcharts, uh, and more advanced ones such as uh, a mind map, a Sankey, or a Gantt diagram. So in this case, we're creating a Gantt chart. Uh, so I'm going to click Gantt chart. And you can see it's provided us with a, a demonstration here. But as you saw earlier, I've already copied my code. So I'm going to paste that in. And you can see it's given me a live demonstration of this uh, Gantt chart that I already produced. So I'm going to click insert. And you can see that's been inserted straight into the page. And if I click on this edit button, I can configure this more to select the size, uh, give it a different title, and potentially show a border around it. So in this case, I want the height to be a little bit shorter. And you can see that that fits perfectly into my page there. So the next way I want to show you how to create your diagrams, say you haven't already created them, uh, is with the AI tool. So if I again type slash diagram and select code editor, and this time, if I click Mermaid, I can now type into this capable AI modal here. I can say um, software development process with branching paths. And I'm going to click Generate. And you can see the AI has now produced the diagram uh, here, which I can see. Can give this a title and an optional description here. And as you can see there, we've got our new diagram inserted into the page. Nice and simple. And if I click update, it really is that simple to get mermaid diagrams into your page in a interactive form uh, that is zoomable and with several different uh, display options. So this is without a frame, and this is with a frame. And I can also go in after I've uh, set up these diagrams and click Edit. And I, again, get this nice editor here, which lets me see a live preview and update this. So, for example, I can change the title. And you can see it updates accordingly here. So really simple, really easy way for you to include visual representations of processes or schedules in your Confluence pages. And that's it. Now you know how to easily embed and display mermaid diagrams in your Confluence pages using Capable. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe for more Confluence tips, tricks, and productivity hacks. Let us know in the comments what other features you'd like to learn about 
and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.